Hey guys and welcome back to Nuke Down This Channel. I'm Sabi from Code Evolution. So today I will show you guys how to scrape new releases from Netflix using Crawlomatic and Headless Browser API or Puppeteer, which needs to be installed on your server. So you can choose any of these. You can install Puppeteer on your server or you can use Headless Browser API, which is a cloud-based Puppeteer instance and it will render the pages for you and it will return also javascript rendered content and allow you to scrape also netflix for example so in this video i will scrape these new releases from netflix and import them to my wordpress site so let's check the site it's empty i already have the rules set up here and let's run it so the rule is currently set to use headless browser api puppeteer instance and it will render javascript on this page and it will scrape one uh, resu result from this list so let's allow the plugin to run scraping a bit and after scraping is done we will see here the result published if we go and check logs we will see how the plugin functions and it will do the the it will allow us to see what happens in the background so scraping can take a bit because headless browser api will process the netflix page and afterwards it will go to this url and process this url also and it will publish it to our site afterwards keep in mind that i will show you the settings required right now so the scraper seed start url is media.netflix.com slash english which is this page and the scraping is done so let's see results here it is off the hook the first result got published and it's really simple it gives us an image the title synopsis and tags exactly like we would see here image title synopsis and tags so the configuration needed to set up the plugin with headless browser api or with puppeteer instance is in this video's description so go ahead guys and check it i will also show it to you guys right now so i set content scraping method to use puppeteer headless browser api if you have puppeteer installed on your server you can also check select this if you don't have a puppeteer installed and you have an active headless browser api subscription you can also select this I will leave a link to Headless Browser API in this video's description so you can check it. Afterwards, let's scroll down and check the Do Not Scrape Seed URL checkbox. Select in the Seed Page Crawling Query Type class, Seed Page Crawling Query String Item Enter Done. So let me show you why we should select this. If we hit Inspect here, then we will see that this is the link that we are after and up here we have the class item enter done so this class is found in every similar card with the link so this class will be found on every link on these cards and this will be used in the plugin to get all the links from this list after the links are listed we can get the content we wish to import so in this case if we want to import this part i set here id app container so if we go here up we should see something like app container oh here it is so id app container i imported from the entire part of this page 
Okay, you can also change this if you want. You can hover your mouse over the part you wish and hit copy, copy selector for example and paste the selector right in here and in this case don't forget to set XPF CSS selector as your content query type. Okay, so yeah and all other options are also customizable but in this video I remained also only for this so I am scraping only basic details of these Netflix um, videos which will be released soon using Crawlomatic and Puppeteer or Headless Browser API. So keep in mind you will need Puppeteer or Headless Browser API for this or otherwise it will not work for you. So let me show you how this will function if you don't use Puppeteer because Puppeteer is needed to render Netflix and uh, make it JavaScript executable because if you don't use JavaScript I have here a switch here in my Chrome which disables JavaScript. So this page is loaded now without JavaScript and if you load the page without JavaScript this is everything that you will get. It has only placeholders and blank pages. So if we re-enable JavaScript we will see that the links will come up once again correctly. So this happens also if we use the WordPress default scraping method which not is not able to execute JavaScript and if we delete the post that we got and rerun importing we'll see that we get nothing as JavaScript is not executed. So Puppeteer in Headless Browser API is needed for this. So all links are in this video's description. Thanks for watching. If you have ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments of this video. If you like this video or you want to get more similar ones, subscribe and uh, it is really appreciated. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.